Welcome to Sea of Thieves Explained, a speedy summary of everything pirates need to know to thrive out in the waves. All pirates value their independence, but there's nothing quite like the bond between a close-knit crew. When it comes to seeking out shipmates, you have several options at your disposal. Sociable players might choose to sail as an open crew, which brings pirates looking for company together whenever there's space on board ship. Others prefer a closed crew, where only players you've added to your friends list are invited. And if you'd like more friends to add to that list, then you might want to stop by the official Sea of Thieves Discord. Not only is this a great way to keep up with the latest news and events, players with particular goals in mind can look for crews that meet their needs hop into voice chat and set sail together. Once you've found yourself a crew of familiar faces, your adventures will lead to plenty of stories to tell. And there's a way that your ship can share in those memories too. With enough gold, you can purchase a ship and become its captain. When you do, you'll have the opportunity to name your new vessel, but that's just for starters. The history of a captain's ship is chronicled in its logbook, so how your crew approaches life at sea will be recorded. Perhaps you'll be known as determined gold seekers, adventurous voyagers, or ill-fated to suffer misfortune. Once news of your deeds make it back to the shipwrights, you'll find these milestones have opened up many new ways to customise your ship. Everything from its crest to the trophies hanging on the walls will speak volumes about your endeavours. You and your crew can redecorate as you see fit, and then ask the shipwright to preserve your handiwork for future sessions. No more switching out those plain white sails. And speaking of time savers, say hello to the sovereigns. These elitist envoys will only deal with crews from captain ships and act as a single hand end point for trading company treasures. Make use of their services and you'll be back out in the open sea in no time. A captain ship is more than just a convenience for your crew, however. It's the gateway to forming your very own pirate guild. As a captain, you can pledge your ship to create a guild of up to 24 pirates, choosing the guild's name, motto and emblem to be shown when anyone spies you on the horizon. Alternatively, you can pledge the ship to a guild you're already part of. You'll also get to decide whether or not other guild members can also set sail aboard your pledged ship without you, progressing its milestones. When you sail as part of a guild, the golden reputation you earn from selling treasures will also add to the guild's overall reputation. The guild's chronicle shows which ships have been at sea and how much gold they earned, among other details. Reach reputation level 15, and you'll also be able to sail as a guild emissary, earning more for your loot as you increase your emissary grade. As your reputation increases, you'll unlock exclusive clothing items that help you really embrace the roles aboard ship. And at level 100, you'll earn the first of 10 possible distinctions and start to unlock the Unbroken Bond ship set. Absolute proof that you and your guild are a force of friends to be reckoned with. And that's all you need to get started on your search for a crew to call your own. Good luck out there, and we'll see you next time for more Sea of Thieves Explained.